you've gotten tons and tons of fixes for Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 as it goes through PTU. In addition to this, we're going to cover some more updates for the patch along with a sneaky little vehicle that they just added. I'm Phase 1 and I do Star Citizen content. If you like news and updates for Star Citizen, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. Just not too long ago, CIG just revealed that the Mirai Fury LX snub racer has been added to be released with Star Citizen 3.20 as a game ready vehicle. That is great news. I always like it when they sneak these little updates in from time to time. Under ships and vehicles, they mentioned that the Hall C has had some additional polish and bug fix passes. It says here that they've greatly increased the quantum fuel storage amount, overall balance and refresh of thrusters, maneuverability in atmosphere and, and fuel usage, and they made various third person camera tweaks as well. Under Arena Commander updates, they made some adjustments to the lap requirements for multiple racetracks. They've updated Hilleron Circuit, the Ford Link, Record Memorial Raceway, and Miner's Lament are now one lap and was three laps before. Under the technical section for Arena Commander, they've made some fixes to the loadouts in Arena Commander before we were not able to do that. They've also made some updates to the HUD elements for Master Modes. Some of them were missing before, so it's good to see this. They fixed the infinite loading screen for the Yadar Valley in the classic race in Arena Commander. And they fixed multiple client crashes and server crashes for Arena Commander. Let's move on to the PU bug fixes. They fix an issue when scrolling in personal inventory. The items can become blacked out. That's good to hear. Items cannot be stored back in local inventory if stored from the character's hand. That's a good fix. There's no grab option for dropped weapons and players unable to have a third unequipped weapon if they have two holster weapons. That's been fixed. That's good. Unable to interact with objects in C cursor after trying to buy a gun off the rack, not via the kiosk while inspecting it. So that's been fixed. Some vehicles get stuck on invisible physics at the end of the NBIS garage exit. And this is pertaining to cyclones. So that's a good fix. Calling ATC with cargo on board will assign a hangar if all docking ports are in use. Now this is pertaining to the hall c also for the hall c airlock and control panels leading to the back of the ship from the extending corridor has a vis area issue players can clip through the ship when sliding down the second ladder near the back airlock that's pertaining to the hall c cannot spawn due to an infinite black screen while in turn causes infinite death loop upon relog so that's been fixed this is pertaining to the kleschler habilitation facility in regards to the mercenary and claim jumper missions, the player is unable to complete the mission due to an incorrect amount of sentries spawning. That is a good fix. Using the ADS and weapons is incorrectly aligned to the character. So now this is pertaining to the Gemini A03 ballistic sniper rifle. That's a good fix. Player spins wildly when entering EVA. I've noticed this personally myself and that is very annoying. So I'm glad that they had a fix for that finally. Can I respawn due to an infinite black screen which is turned cause an infinite death loop upon relog. So that's been fixed. That is good. Before we move forward, I'd like to let you guys know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of September. This time is the Aurora MR. In order to participate, all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of September. Let's move on. Players are able to abuse current limits of tractor beam using in hangar and entity cleanup rules to completely block access to hangar elevators, extended ATC cleanup boundaries. So that's a good fix. At least they're addressing the griefers, huh? Items cannot be stored back in local inventory if stored from the character's hand. That's a good fix. In regards to the Crusader Starlifter, there is a HUD issue. The large crosshair targeting UI is missing in the Crusader A2 when attempting to bomb a target. So that's a good fix. In regards to quantum linking, party members do not receive any notification when party leader initiates quantum travel functions. 
pertaining to the front end menus party ui element counter doesn't increase when players join the party so that's a good fix in regards to ships hud ping waves does not visually activate for players i thought this was an intentional change but it turns out it was a bug so that is good this is going to help us during our planetary flights on the dark side of any planet or moon so that's a good fix ptv racetrack interior is missing so now this is regarding the orison convention hall interior pertaining to the hall c streaming in and out the hall c leads to substantial frame rate drops there is no oxygen breathable atmosphere at the engineering end of the spindle corridor when it is extended this is pertaining to the hall c that's good to hear fix an issue that was causing players to take unintended damage at the moment of transitioning from ship grid into eva this was a big one that was also plaguing players in the pu i'm glad that they are finally addressing this hopefully it's actually fixed we'll see when we get back into the pu and last but not least adding more pending cargo transfer orders can excess the hall c's maximum cargo capacity that's a good fix i didn't even know about that all right you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe and i'll see you on the next video